Um, I love what you said, and uh, it brought up a conversation that I had with this very dear friend of mine, who's an who's a who's an advait, a very extremely hardcore advaitin, who uh, and a student of Nisargadatta Maharaj, uh, and whose teaching is you are not. I, you don't exist, I don't exist. There's no such thing as enlightenment because who is there to be enlightened? So we were talking and I was going to have this conversation with Ken about enlightenment and, he's, and I said, so what do you think? And he said, well, there's no such thing as enlightenment. I mean, how can there be enlightenment if there's no one there to be enlightened? If there's somebody to be there to be enlightened, there's no enlightenment. So how can you have this conversation? And I go, oh, shit. <laughs> Can't we? Uh, oh, shit. Me. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> He said, my, my friend says, oh, he kept saying there was no one to be enlightened. There's no one to be yeah, enlightened. Okay. Therefore, you can't have a conversation about enlightenment. And I said, well, how are you going to have, how are you going to talk about it? How are you going to teach people? How are you going to get there if you're, if you're saying there's no you to be enlightened? And that's the whole story. So, and it, I was in this state of extreme frustration, which I have experienced throughout my life with absolutists, because there's something about that particular trance, the trance the Advaita trance, I call it, uh, you know, which is, is the same as there's no spoon, uh, that, that simply does not allow room for process. And of course, you, you end up with nihilism if you're not uh, deeply practiced. Uh, the other side of it, which I live with because I seem to be more, I seem to have, uh, have gone from an extremely subtle uh, kind of, discourse surrounded by people who were all on the same page I was and had been practicing with me for 20 years. Uh, and you know, we were talking about very minute states of enlightenment in, you know, in as articulate a way as we can. I've gone from that to working with Los Angeles, West LA housewives uh, who, who are you know, the, the wives of wealthy movie people and go to one of the innumerable glamorous yoga studios in Los Angeles and have all the right jewelry and, <laughs> and, and are completely overwhelmed by their lives and want to study meditation so they can feel better. And, and, and often, and, and I am filled with compassion for them. I mean, they're great women and they're lost. They have a very strong, deep, true need for the self. Uh, and, and yet to take them from from that, you know, when they're coming to a meditation class, knowing that at four o'clock they have to leave to pick up the babysitter and then go to a party, uh, or whatever version of that we have given our economic conditions, how you hold the line on the deep truth, the empty consciousness that it's, that's at the core of everything, and the, the intensity of the path it takes to get there, while taking them from where they are in an authentic way, is, I think, really the great koan that a teacher faces because to me those people you know the, the kids in high schools who are who you know who need to know the self they're the people we should be talking to and they're the people who who want what we have to say so badly and yet uh, it's so it's so difficult to to get them to see it uh, as more than a way of feeling better given the time and space they have for it in their lives so um, th- this question seems to be really central in, in the, the way in which spirituality impacts the culture. It, would you define it as sort of a, a, a kind of a, a sort of a more integrative way of, of, of integrating that into everyday concerns? And... Yeah, I mean, to me, it's extremely crucial that that you, you actually be able to give somebody a formula of what you do when your sister yells at you. Yeah, you know how you work with your sister and your own state and what you do when you're failing in school and what you do when you know, your drug problem gets out of hand. So it, it feels yeah. to me as though spirituality is so much about the, the nitty gritty situations of human development. Yeah. You know, and, and if it's not going to answer those questions, it, it's never going to be of use to the mainstream society. Yeah. And even if you are, you discover big mind, big heart, non-dual, yeah. how do you deal with how this do you thing? De- how yeah. do you actually how do- make that? Yeah. And how do you deal with, you know, with yourself when, as you said, when you lose it, how do you deal with it? And how do you get yourself on track? Because you also want to have a skillful life. So so, um, we can figure that out. Okay. Be very grateful.